Good afternoon, my name is Carter and this is my first video response for Medical Anthro. Um, question one, uh, my cultural background uh, motivates me to uh, put out a self-image that is positive and exemplary and I really want to try and be perceived by others as a good person. Um, so when I can do good, I, I really try and um, help out, I take the extra time to to uh, do whatever I can to make someone else's day better. I really try and do that. And I, I think that a lot of Americans want to say that they make an attempt to, to do that same sort of thing. But at the same time, I also believe that uh, the American culture is very rat race oriented and it's very much um, competitive. And this competitive drive um, kind of sort of, kind of creates a bit of deception with how people truly are on the inside and the kind of person they put out to the outside and it gives it gives us uh, an optimistic sort of um, view on our country but at the same time like I said it, it creates that little point of deception where people who we may think people are very good and it could just be the person they are between the hours of nine and five um, just an observation of mine and uh, Regarding the second question about uh, things that are considered normal or acceptable, I think that uh, in the American culture, we, we are very concerned about um, looking strong and looking like we're very confident and that we're not having trouble at home or we're not having uh, issues in our lives. So people tend to bottle up their negative emotions and they're not very comfortable with outwardly expressing them. And that's that's how it's always been in the U.S., where we've always been about dealing with our own problems and, and it being very individually oriented. And I think that that definitely creates kind of a, I don't want to say uh, it's not welcoming, but it just is an interesting way how people can be having an absolutely terrible day and they still try and put out this face like, hey, I'm fine, I'm doing well. And you can see this when you go out with your friends for drinks, per se, and say someone's grandmother has died last week. And they still are out trying to laugh, trying to have fun. And um, it's interesting because in a lot of other cultures, when something like that happens, they may they may take three days off work, may, may weep for a week. It, it, there's a whole broad spectrum of, of people's reactions to, to negative emotions. And in, in the U.S., we're kind of all about just okay, that happened, let's have a couple days of, of sadness, and then we got to get back on with our lives. And that's, it's interesting how Americans kind of take that time and we really try to compress it and put our efforts towards moving the ball forward as opposed to letting the anchor hold us down. And uh, it's just something interesting that I've kind of realized about the American culture and how it's, it's different than a lot of other places that I have been. Thanks for watching me. Yay.